Hi guys, this is Steve Jones. First of all, please uh, ignore the dirty kitchen. Apparently we had a war here last night. This is a simple life hack for people like me who did not have a body thermometer uh, in their, their uh, bathroom. If you go online, there's countless articles telling you it's okay to use a meat probe thermometer um, to measure your temperature. Well, as long as it reads correctly, if it's out of, if it's not correct, then it's not going to do any good. Um, but as long as it's within one or two degrees, you should be able to get a measurement of what your actual temperature is. If it's plus one degree, then you need to add a, add a degree. But I want to show you how to check your thermometer to make sure it is within um, within a certain degree of uh, accuracy. Okay, so what I have here is a jar of ice water. This ice has been sitting here for about five minutes. I've drained some of the water out. It's mostly ice. It's very little water. There's just enough water in there so that the probe can get a temperature. Um, I've tried this about three times, and where I'm at, 33 degrees, so it's about plus one. It's gone down to 30, and you can also just give it a little stir and all that too. You see it goes down to 32 and 7. It'll go down to 32.1 if I try hard. Uh, but So we're, we're within, you know, a half a degree here, okay? And, so, and, and to tell you what I have, I have a, a Taylor commercial precision digital thermometer. I went up to Walmart today and they had absolutely you no know, uh, body thermometers, but they had plenty of meat thermometers. Okay, so we check the, the freezing temperature of water and it's within, water freezes at 32 degrees. Since this is not, uh, this is tap water with, with water from an ice bag. So I can, I can accept that that half a degree difference there because there may be salts in the water etc now to check it on the other end is you check the boiling point of water now boiling water water boils at 212 degrees fahrenheit at sea level so if i stuck this in here right now i'll, I'll, I'll show you later it will not get to 212 so what you need to do to check your where you're at is go to engineeringtoolbox.com, okay? Also find the sea level for where you're at. For me, I'm in LaRue, Ohio. The sea level is 925 feet, okay? So go to engineeringtoolbox.com, and on there they have a, it, it, it's easier to, to, to search for what temperature water boils at at sea level, but it, the, the, where I got the information was at that website. And you wanna look for where water tip water boils at what sea level for my sea level is between 750 and a thousand feet that temperature is 210.1 to 210.5 so as long as it's within that range you're you're good so my you see my water's been boiling it's at a rapid boil i'm gonna stick it in there it takes about 20 seconds for it to, or 10 seconds for it to get up to temperature. And here you go, we're at 210.4.7. So we're, we're within the range that engineeringtoolbox.com said water would boil at my altitude. So I feel perfectly comfortable using this meat thermometer to check my temperature. Now, I'm not going to show you how to how to make this. <laughs> I'm not going to show you how to make the thermometer safe to use because I left the alcohol and stuff underneath in the bathroom. But you want to take an alcohol swab or take. Um, I have regular isopropyl alcohol. Uh, basically, clean it with alcohol then use it like any other probe thermometer in your mouth put it in your mouth and push down real nice and firm so it gets good contact um, 
and it should give you a good body temperature uh, within a degree or two. So there you go. That's your simple little life hack for the day. Trying to uh, get us all through this. Later. And, and, and as a disclaimer, I know this isn't a medical thermometer, okay? But it will get me close enough so that if I do have a temperature, I'll know. Okay? And I know that it reads correctly because in ice and water, it reads at the at the correct or near the correct temperature. So stay safe out there. And once we get thermometers at Walmart and Rite Aid and CVS, I'm going to actually get a regular body thermometer. But this will get me through and this will get you through if you don't have one. So don't freak out because there's no thermometers at Walmart or no thermometers at the drugstores or Kroger's. Just go get you a, um, a thermometer and then check it with, with ice water and boiling water to make sure that it's within reason and then you know what it will read so like if it said you know if it said 34 degrees in ice water you know it reads two degrees too high so factor that in when you're taking your temperature okay but i wouldn't trust a thermometer if it read 34 <laughs> or 35 or 36 for the boy for the freezing point of water okay so anyway that's it enjoy your day stay safe bye